Hi, welcome to Sew, Teach and Learn. Thanks again for purchasing your Sew It box. Or if you've been gifted, congratulations, we're going to have lots of fun guys today. So we'll be working on our flat cushion cover and inside your box is your fabric pieces, your pattern pieces, your instructions and the link to this video. So I've made one for you earlier, as we need to. And here's your flap, okay? So let's get started. You will need your sew machine, pins, snippers, thread, fabric chalk or a pen, a ruler and fabric scissors. And if you don't have a sew it box, you need half a meter of fabric, I would say per cushion, plus the measurements of your cushion. If you like your cushions full, cut the measurements at the same size as the cushion. Or if you like your cushions flat, cut the measurements one inch wider than your cushion size. Now place your pattern in the direction of the print. If your fabric is patterned, decide which direction the pattern will be going and place your pattern pieces in that direction. Bear in mind you have a front pattern piece and you will be cutting two back pattern pieces. If you are following the pattern from top to bottom, which is like the grain line, place your patterns against the selvage. Selvage is the original uncut side of the fabric. As you are cutting two backs, place that area on a fold so you only have to cut once. Now pin your pattern pieces and cut them out. Now when you are pinning, please remember to smooth out your fabric, smooth out your pattern to make sure that when you cut, everything is the correct size, that there's no lumps or bumps in the middle. Now on the back pieces, the end which will be the flap area, you need to mark two inches up and then draw a line. And then mark one inch up and draw a line. Then you'll have two lines as you can see. Do this for both of your back pieces. These are fold lines so that we will have a nice neat finish where the flap is. You will end up with a double turn. Now to the sewing machine. You will be stitching a quarter from the fold line. The edge of your fabric should reach three quarters of an inch, which is normally marked on your sewing machine. Don't forget when you are stitching, back stitch at the beginning of a seam and also at the end. When stitching, do not use a small stitch as if you make a mistake, it will take a long time to unpick. A standard size will be size 3 or 4, all depending on the size and measurements on your sewing machine stitches, choose a medium size stitch. Do this for both of your back pieces. Okay. 
Okay, the hardest bit is done. Now we are placing our pieces together. Always remember when you are sewing, right sides together. So when you are pinning, you will see the wrong side of the fabric and also the wrong side of the stitch. Make sure your flaps are flat and down so that when it is sewn it is nice and straight. Now we're going to sew our cushion together. Our seams are half an inch wide. If there's no markings on your sewing machine, you can use masking tape. Measure from the needle point across to, to the seam allowance width that you want. For example, three quarters, one and a half centimeters, and you will always get a straight line as long as you follow the side of the masking tape. Please make sure that your flaps are flat when you are sewing, so double check that it reaches the edge of the fabric. Please guys, check that the seams are actually sewing. Many, many times I have sewn, or I thought I've sewn, and there has been no stitch. So it's always a good idea to just check. Now we're gonna zigzag the edges of our cushion cover. When you are using your zigzag stitch, make sure you place the needle on the edge of the fabric. This is when the needle is on the right side of the plate. Test it out and you will see. Turn your cushion covers inside out and with a pencil, a knitting stick, anything that's not too sharp but has a point, use that to point out your corners. And now it's time to put your cushion filling in your cushion cover. And voila, you are done. Thanks again for sewing with Sew, Teach and Learn. And until next time, have a good one.